here we are, August the 1st, 1965, on uh, the Great Washington Square, right here in the heart of the village. A rally is in progress, or rather the st cars are all lined up. We see thousands of little sports cars, well, hundreds of, well, let's say ten little sports cars here, all waiting eagerly for the arrival of the host, Gene Shepard, who hasn't shown up yet. The ninth grade annual Greenwich Village Sports Car Rally is uh, about to begin. That is the registration thereof. It is uh, 11.07 and our genial host has not yet appeared. And uh, with all the cars present here for the Sports Car Rally, there's even one that proudly proclaims William F. Ryan for mayor. Do they want to make this rally a political one? 11.20 and so far we merely got people around that, uh, well, what are they doing? They're just milling. They're milling around. They're scratching. They're not howling. They're just milling. And everybody seems to be in eager anticipation of the rally master. The rally master who hasn't shown up yet. Now we have the first uh, big thing going on here. A garbage truck is trying to thread his way through the crowd and uh, he is rather successful. Nothing has happened yet at uh, 11.25 arrived and lo and behold it's the William F. Ryan for mayor truck that uh, Shep is going to use for this affair. The truck has uh, pulled up now, it's uh, ready in position so um, the next voice you hear will be that of uh, your rally master, the hero of the day, the man of the hour, Gene Shepard.
it's a rally really in the for, in the village tradition, which is to say half-assed. Uh, in general, uh, it's a, it's an urban rally. There are there are three or more checkpoints. I'll tell you how it works as a sporting event. Uh, there are something like 50 cars that have been enrolled in this thing. This is the largest one we've ever had from the standpoint of contestants. And before it's over, we may have as, as high as 65. Uh, these cars will begin leaving this starting point right here. We have a, a starting point measured off here. They will begin leaving at about 12.15 or thereabouts. And each driver has, at this point, he does not know where he's going to go. They will be given their route before the minute before they take off, and they will then have about an hour and a half to drive. A very strict route that goes all the way downtown, maybe all the way up into Washington Heights, all around the around the borough of Manhattan. And he will be checked at three or more checkpoints along the way. He doesn't know when he's going to meet them or where they are. And as they check him, they will check him for a nominal time. Now, that nominal time has been set by the race committee in the past week. So if a man arrives at a checkpoint, let's say, 20 minutes early, he loses 20 points. Simple as that. If he arrives 20 minutes late, he loses 20 points. And then as he reaches the, the, the final, the final uh, end point will be the limelight, which is over on 7th Avenue South. It's, it's uh, over west of us here. And they will arrive there about oh, two, maybe an hour and a half after they take off from here. Then we will calculate the points from the guy that wins. Usually, uh, is back home in Long Island somewhere. In fact, three separate occasions, we had guys say, oh, the hell with it, go home. They figured they lost. And we wound up calling places like Pittsburgh, giving them their rewards. It usually takes us until next Wednesday to figure it out anyway. So uh, we want to welcome you here. We have many different types of cars, and I will try to do my best to tell you about what kind of cars they are. Many of you who don't know anything about uh, foreign automobiles, I think there are a lot of little bugs. Well, we'll probably be surprised at the number of cars. I noticed just going past here a minute ago, a genuine Ferrari. Incidentally, would you please uh, refrain from sitting on the automobiles? Many of them have expensive finishes. And people do not like to have the imprint of your ass on their hood forever. You may have a nice 